starts off with a tray. Start all these little peat moss pucks. They drop inside here. Fill a whole tray. Then you drop the seeds inside of there. Whatever seed you want. Usually the small leafy vegetables work best. Once the tray is filled, you set the tray in this uh, shelf here and you let it fill with water once. This tray, all the way across, fills with water every hour and cycles back out. But once you've done that, you set it in the bottom. And this is the germination rack. So this rack will turn on and germinate. We keep the tops on them to let them seed right here. Oh, and that's yeah. what these are doing. These are this three right here are germinating right now. Right. So that's why the tops are on them. They're there for about one week to let them sprout. Once they sprout after a week, then they come up top to the top shelf. These have sprouted and they've been here about, oh, maybe about another week after that. So these have been growing for about a week on the, on the sprouting. Now about a week here, so these are about two weeks old. This is the red the blue, now turn the red on. See at both spectrums. They'll turn on, off and on, oh, all wow. night long. Exactly, this is the water tank that is specifically for the germination phase. So this is filled up with water and what happens, there's a pump, there's an agitator that keeps the agitator, there's a pump that pumps it through this one right here and it's constantly flowing. And what these do is they're dosers. These are four dosers and it's constantly checking pH, water temperature, acidity, and it's always balancing it. And these four tanks right here are what it balances it. So these four tanks are for the seedlings and it's always adjusting the levels. So the whole room is adjusting on the oxygen, it's also adjusting CO2, it's also adjusting temperature. There's sensors everywhere that's always adjusting everything to keep it the exact thing. Every hour or two, it turns on the outside fan and flushes out the air inside here for about 10 minutes to get fresh air in. So it keeps fresh air inside here all the time. So it pumps it out, pumps it in, and the top fans circulate air around. Once they get about two inches tall, then it's time to start to go to the harvester. It'll fill with water every hour and then it'll drain back down, keeping these always moist. So these will always be moist, so they'll always be kind of wet and moist, letting them grow to their optimum height. So once they get to the point we want to do something about it, we'll unhook these, and these are what they grow on. So we put them on the rack and we'll look at their way down there. You can do five or six at a time. And then you'll come over to the table behind you, and this is where we load them. Hold the table up here. Goes the table up here, and there's a hook. And this is the grow medium. This is what they grow in. It's close to soil. Oh, and there's two of these. Pull the first one out. We'll grab this. Pull the second one out. Once these are out, we move this to the other side of the table. Down here. Back in. Now we fill this. So we'll take those little seedling tray out, we'll pull the tray out, and we'll insert them right inside here. Five of them per side. Once they're inside this, and there are five little tiny plants in here, we put it right back in. Go ahead. Pull it all the way to the bottom. Right till it's flush with the bottom. Perfect. Oh, then you flush the next one in, same thing, put that in there. Use your hook, and you imagine now you'll have 10 plants in there. Okay. Is it, would it be wet when I was doing this? Nope, they'll be dry at this point until they stay get hung. And where do you get the plants from? Where do you get the seed from? Seedlings, you just order them online. Oh yeah. Then you lift it up right here, and you hang it right back on that rack where it was at. So go ahead and hang it on the drip system right behind you. And you want to put it in the base yeah. first. Yep. Oh. Right there. Yeah. It goes the other way. Oh, I see. Base first. Right in the hole. Perfect. Wow. And as you can see on the floor, there's a blower. And the blower circulates air up, keeping the plants, you know, air moving up throughout it and all the lights dangling down are the lights on the system there. You gotta figure out which input is the lights. A little hunting well, and picking. I mean, you've just, you've learned this really quick. How was the uh, education? It was uh, about four days, it was a lot. Uh, they go for about 14 hours on, and we do it through the night because it gets hot in here with the lights on. Right. 
so you can see the lights on. And so when all the lights fire up in here, it'll hit, it'll heat up a bunch. That is so cool. And these are all LED, huh? Yep. And then after five weeks in, they are ready to harvest. And we divide it into four harvests. So there's 512 per harvest. So there's over 2,000 plants grow at a time. So we'll cut this into one, one uh, quarter. One quarter we'll plant right away. Uh -huh. And then we go the next quarter, then the next quarter. So every week is another one. So every, one, every four weeks plus one germinating, so we're in a five week cycle. So the software that controls everything, it, can you access that remotely or? You can. You can hook that up to your iPad and iPhone and you can control it that way as well as the camera. We can pull it up to see what's going on in here. So if we saw something that's right, we can look at it, see does everything look okay. Lights are supposed to be on. Are they on? I think the fourth tank is always an extra. So these two, three, four are for the main one, but pH lower. Uh, this is nutrients one and two. And the uh, tank for these is in the very back. That whole bank there is a tank. Oh, so everything yeah. that this does, does back there on a larger scale. So there's always a pump running, and it's always circulating and always checking the water. So even as we talk, water's running through here because it's always checking. It says, hey, pH is a little low. We're going to turn the doser on. We're going to raise the pH. Oh, see, the doser wow. just came on right now. So seedling doser 3 just came on. That is cool, man. Seedling doser... So seedling doser three. Down. It's main. So these are seedling doser so three right here. Oh. So it's lowering the pH as we speak. Duh. So it checked the pH and said, hey, it's a little high, so we have to lower that down a little bit. That so is cool. To even go further, what it does is it says whenever you lower pH, it can throw off your nitrogen level for a while. Oh, so yeah. what it does is it says while I'm doing this for about the next 15 minutes, I want to turn off my nitrogen checking and I want to turn off all other checks until oh. that balances. So in the computer it's saying, I'm now dosing, so stop checking everything else for about 15 minutes. Oh, so, so you're not getting any cycle, alarms. Cycle, and then it'll kick back on and say, okay, what is it now? So it just put a dose of the pH lower. It's both spectrums of light. Full spectrum. So, tell me about the company that does this. What? Great Farms out of Boston. Incredible oh. company, forward thinking, and they're thinking of taking these things and putting them all over the world. Taking habitats that can't grow year-round, you can put this somewhere, you go year-round. Doesn't matter if you're in the desert, doesn't matter if it's frozen in, you're always producing. Wow. Hook it up to a generator, you're good to go. you got a crop. 512 heads of lettuce a week. Wow. Man, that's, that's productive. That's a lot of lettuce. <laughs> awesome. It's a lot of cabbage, brother. Another downtown Las Vegas story caught exactly. on the iPhone.